All right, so after the noodles, we stopped at a little fruit shop here. Got kiwis, oranges, pomelos, fresh strawberries, cherries, more oranges, pears, cantaloupes of different varieties, bananas, uh, durian fruit, nectarines, uh, longans, got uh, different nuts and snacks here, bananas, got a whole bunch of fancy ones already all pre-packaged up here, little mini oranges, grapes of three or four different varieties, um, guavas, apple pears, dragon fruits, little mini tomatoes. Hey, what are these? Chocolate. Is it? Yeah. You sure? Um, no, actually it is orange inside. Yeah, that's what Twilight. I thought. Little fancy oranges, more little fancy oranges. What's this one called again? Do you remember? Buddha fruit. Buddha fruit, that's right. Yeah. And then you got mango steams here. And these ones? This is, I don't know how to say in Chinese. I can't remember how to say that one, I forgot. Like every kind of fruit you can imagine in here. Over here we've got chocolates, chips, milk wafers, dried beef. Hey, don't forget this time we should get some, some uh, Yulin uh, B1 before we leave too. Not here, but before we go. Nuts, snacks, look at these nuts here. Dried beef, baked products, uh, candies, cakes. Little These little melons are delicious. Cucumbers. Loquats, that's right. Up top there we've got coconuts, we've got yogurt. I mean, this is just a little hole in the wall type of place. It's fantastic. Uh, this gentleman over here is helping me to open up the uh, pomelos for me because I don't have a knife at the hotel. Got whole roasted chickens here. Sugar cane. Literally everything that you could possibly want to snack on. Bamboo shoots, dried sweet, sweet potato, chicken feet, chicken feet, dried squid, hot dogs. Um, I could keep going on. There's more I haven't even listed yet. So cool. Welcome to China. So these are the little electric rental scooters. You just have the app like I have on my phone. You scan the little barcode. Okay. You scan the barcode, you hop on the bike and away you go. I don't know how you tell how much juice it has in it because you wouldn't want to rent a little electric bike that had no juice in it, but uh, pretty cool. The wife's just stopping at the good old pharmacy to pick up some cough drops. And then we'll head back to the uh, hotel. Now this little rig over here is interesting if you haven't seen one of these before. These long sticks poking up our sugar cane. That's where a lot of the sugar in the world comes from. And what they do is they take it and they peel them with their big knife, peel all the hard outer skin off it. And then they chop them into pieces here into a bag. And the way you eat these is you take this little piece, you can see them inside there. And you pop that in your mouth and you chew it up and you basically chew all the sugar juice out of it. And then you spit the uh, pulpy fiber bit out, and away you go. It's a, it's a nifty little snack, but you gotta be careful because <laughs> you can mess up your teeth if you bite the wrong bits. But uh, yeah, I've eaten quite a bit of this. It's a very popular snack in the countryside here, if not, not a little messy, obviously. However, that'll all be cleaned up by the end of the night. All right. If you don't like the way I park, stay off the sidewalk, as they say. Now the wife said she wants to go out and have a couple beers and go dancing, so we're gonna go find a bar. Isn't that right, hon? No. Oh, I guess we're not gonna go dancing, but we are gonna have a couple beers, right, hon? No. Oh, I guess we're not gonna have a couple beers. But yeah, so our hotel is right there across the street. It is getting a little late here. It's about 10.30 now. So, uh, a lot of the little shops and stores along here that would be open during the daytime are closed up. 
little tea shop here. These places stay open. Mm -hmm. And for the most part, you just see people sitting inside drinking tea and smoking cigarettes. But I never really see them buying anything. It's kind of odd. There are definitely bars around here because there's lots of these drunken louts like these guys wandering about. He's got his bag with the uh, the Mo Tai. So these guys have been drinking Mo Tai and then hopping on the motorcycle. Probably not a good idea. But not for me to say. You do you, sunshine. And there's our hotel, the Gully Hotel. We're up on the sixth floor. Oh, hey, look at that. That's a big gym. Holy crap. They've got a huge fitness center on the second floor. Wow. Like that's, that's as big as the gym at, in Shenzhen that I go to. Yeah, here we go. Don't get run over by the motor pickles. However, if they hit me, they're probably gonna do more damage to themselves than me. Check out on Alcom. All right. Wife's a little nervous. We're leaving the baby outside since this hotel does not have parking. This is the parking for the hotel. So let's see what we got. Yeah. Down the street. So yeah, we had to go around the block. The wife was a little nervous because it looked like there might not be any parking, but uh, there's a lot of early night drinking and fraternizing going on at the moment. So a lot of these vehicles will clear up as the uh, night moves on. It's right there. Do you need to go say goodnight to no. it? Okay. Just Maybe. checking. And again, little shops. Mm -hmm. In these smaller towns like this, these little places will stay open as long as people are walking on the street because it's potential money. And these people work hard. Don't kid yourself. Some run 24 hours. Well, in a lot of them, even the little restaurants and stuff, they'll open at 6 a.m. And then they'll stay open till midnight again. And it's, it's the same people. It's the owners of the restaurant that are doing the business. So they don't have two shifts. And they just stay open until people stop eating, go home and sleep a few hours, come back the next morning and start prepping for the next day. It's quite remarkable. This is the tank, the Great Wall tank. Yeah, that's the tank. The like wife it. really likes it, but it is a gasoline-only vehicle. Cool. All right, the little lobby of our hotel. Yeah, 25 bucks a night. All right, so this is the hotel room starting in the shower, which actually has decent water pressure. Little sink area here. Hey, how you doing? Sink has power on it look at that hey look at this honey even has a fancy mirror yeah that's a little mirror and then over here the big tv just clicks on as soon as you walk in but this is the room 123 renminbi per night which is about 25 canadian dollars and that includes a buffet breakfast for both of us what do you think not damn bad. All right, this is the morning breakfast hotel. We've got porridge. We've got sweet potatoes. Chanakan, pickles, fried rice, eggs. breads, buns, tea, and sauce. A buffet breakfast. Yeah, yeah. 